Hey, what's up with it, man? White Boy Radio, man. Sorry for the car ride video, man. Uh, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? Um, I wanted to get into this one because uh, I saw some shenanigans, and I thought it was worth talking about. Apparently, uh, Ronnie Lawson is contacting YouTubers now. Even the phone doesn't believe it. Ronnie Lawson is contacting YouTubers now and uh, asking about. It. He wants to get verification of how many he, he needs. He needs verification from YouTubers about four hours and phone calls and reports and why it takes so long. And apparently, he has literally had a coworker of twenty years, fifteen plus years, secretly report to the Krama community of all to get detailed information about these hours of verification. Now, I have this call complete shenanigans on this. Look, here's the deal. The common sense theory is this. In no way, shape, or form is no sheriff, detective, FBI agent going to utilize crime YouTubers in any way, shape, or form. Now, I do believe they'll call on the public for general whereabouts, leads, and whatnot, but I don't think that they're uh, transferring case files or uh, looking for detailed leads directly from the Krama community, YouTubers. I, I just have to call complete shenanigans. Now, on another note, that was the common sense theory. Now, look, I said it before and I'll say it again, man. Uh, look, man, these people watch social media, man. Uh, I got live footage when the police are li literally tell us they're watching us, man. Um, and not just us as in me and, and my wife, but the certain people that I was with at that certain time, speaking about when I was out there in a laundry case, covering it they literally watched a guy shout out Doug from Northport Doug live from Northport shout out to him they watched him as he's in the woods looking for laundry and he and he and he came across some bum dude whatever the dude at, in this abandoned thing in the woods he, he, he found them, but I, I guess he didn't see them. You know, the feds watch these lives, man, make a long story short. Doug leaves the spot, and the and the feds come right behind him, go to that exact spot, and yoke up this dude who was a felon with a warrant, and there goes Doug's reward money. Man, they watch it for several, several and all different reasons is what I'm saying. And man, look, come to the Summer Wells case, a lot of these YouTubers say all these things about uh you know no answer from law enforcement this law enforcement that law enforcement's not not doing this not doing that man look man uh look man i know they're watching man look mr lawson man uh hey look man uh you're a good man uh you're very good uh you you, you, you do a great job you're very nice outstanding citizen um nothing to see here okay just keep it moving uh you'd have to be crazy people to think that uh, you could talk all type of crap about these people, just dog his whole department out, and he's going to do a secret mission to get verification on some hours. Man, them people are probably looking to move in on some of these YouTubers. Some of these YouTubers are serious drug addicts, man. Some of these YouTubers serious manipulators man some of these youtubers I, I need to say no more uh mr lawson if you are looking hey man uh salute to you sir uh very good very, doing a very good job uh, appreciate you okay uh you know um i didn't say it uh anyway we have to keep it moving people uh come on man complete shenanigans man stay shenanigan free and until the next one, it's Whiteboard Radio. Getter, Twitter, everywhere.
and, uh, and check out Mr. Lawson's stuff too, all his social media. Give him a good review.